Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Gemara Masechet Rosh Hashanah, page 17a, says, depends what level of Geinom a person is in. If they, there are seven levels of Geinom, the Rashid Chochmah, which I actually have with me for anyone that wants to look at it, so they don't think I'm making this stuff up, the Rashid Chochmah gives detailed ex, uh, explanations of what happens in every one of the Madarot, every one of the chambers in Geinom. It also tells what kind of sins you do in order to get into a certain chamber. For example, right over here, the Mador Revi'i Nikratita Yavin, the fourth chamber of Geinom, and just Baruch Hashem, it happens to be open. The fourth chamber of Geinom is called Tita Yavin. And there, they uh, put people that have uh, arrogance, people that are arrogant, people that make fun of poor people, people that shame poor people, people that uh, we see unintentionally and also people that go with goyot guys that go with goyot that's uh, the, the place for them is the fourth level of Geno and there's other things fifth level for example calls Shaol Shaol the fifth level is called Shaol over there they put people that are Muslim if you go call the cops on a Jew Call the IRS on a Jew, you have a serious problem, you call the Moser. If a Picos, a Picos is someone that's a heretic. A uh, Kofel, also a different type of heretic. Someone that's even a Kofel in Chayat Amitim, they don't believe in uh, resurrection of the dead. Also, they go to the fifth level. And so on and so forth. The Gemara says in the Rosh Hashanah, the first six levels have a certain amount of time frame. Different sins, different sentence. Sin, let's say, A has one year. Sin B has two years. Sin C has ten years, and so on and so forth. So the Gemara says certain people go and have to pay only for one year, only for two years, only for a thousand years, and so on and so forth. But when the Mashiach comes, when the Mashiach comes, they'll be taken out, they'll join the rest of Am Yisrael and Sadiqim, and they'll have an eternity of good. There's not a shame. But there's a seventh level. The seventh level of Genom, anyone that enters does not leave. They go in there and they never leave. Gemara says, even after Mashiach comes, even after Tchiat Metim, even after the end of this world, it's an eternity of Genom until the Neshama is officially destroyed, which could be millions and millions of years. And the sins that a person does in order to get to the seventh level of Geinom, Rabotai Yekarim, are so easy to make, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. How people are mamash putting themselves in eternity of Geinom with a simple sin. One of those sins is Chilul Shabbat. Someone that violates Shabbat on purpose and does not do Tshuva, dies without doing tshuva for Chilul Shabbat, meaning they live their life as a Mechalel Shabbat or Mechalel Shabbat, they go into the seventh level of Geinom and do not end. Mashiach, no Mashiach, resurrection of the dead, all that stuff doesn't matter, apply to them. Second type of sin, it says over here, Amar sheyesh makom begeinom vuhu nikrat soar otachat. This is Madora Shvi'i, Tachtit Haaretz, Someone who goes into it, the seventh level, it's called Tachtit Aaret. Someone that goes into it does not come out. And it says that there there's different parts of it. One of it is boiling feces, another part is boiling seed, other is different types of fire. One person is a Mechalel Shabbat that goes in there. Dies a Mechalel Shabbat. You didn't do Tshuva. If you did Tshuva, they don't have to worry about it. But if they didn't do tshuva, they have a very, very serious, permanent problem. Second is someone that's wasting seed, the chatchila, meaning they waste seed on purpose. 
Like unfortunately many guys today, young and old, they're addicted to it. They do it sometimes daily, sometimes multiple times daily, sometimes a few times a week. You die without doing tshuva for wasting seed, my friend. Doesn't matter if you kept Shabbat. Genom starts and doesn't end for you. Rabotai, it's not a joke. You learn about Genom. When I learned about it, I started crying. It's not a place you want anyone in there, including yourself or anyone you love. Wasting seed is a serious crime against the Shem. Next one, it says, someone's a machtia rabbi. Someone that causes other people to sin. A woman that walks around imadist, she causes guys to sin. They end up wasting seed because of her. What do you think? She goes away free while he's in jail forever? No, my friends. A woman that walks around imadist that causes other men to sin, she's considered machtia rabbi. Shem yirachem alev. This could be our sisters. This could be our daughters, Shem this could be people that we know, this could be our mothers, that causes men to sin. That means Rabotai Kali, it's not, it's not, there's no free lunch. There's no free lunch, meaning that a woman needs to take on modesty. Why? You don't want to go with such a crime in Shabbat. I know it seems hard to be modest in this world because everybody else is immodest. I know it seems like it's hot and therefore if you're going to put more layers or at least longer clothes, it's going to be unbearable. But I promise you, it's not that hard, and I promise you it's not hotter when you wear longer sleeves. In fact, many times it's hotter when you wear shorter, shorter sleeves. Same thing with guys. Guys that don't take advantage of the mitzvah of tzitzit because they think it's too hot, you're wasting a big opportunity to make a mitzvah, and every second you're going to need that mitzvah. You're going to need that mitzvah to protect you. So, guys that could uh, have the excuse, oh no, I'm not wearing tzitzit because it's too hot. When you wear a tzitzit, you're actually less hot. The reason why is because you have layers. When you have layers, you have actually less heat. You have more wind coming into your body. I promise you, it's not more hot with uh, with tzitzit. It's the opposite. Just yet salat tell me. So the point being, Abu Tai, is that if a person goes to the first six levels of gain, for whatever sins they've committed, there is a punishment. It's a very serious punishment, which you can learn from Ashu about gain. I didn't even go into all the details, but I went into enough details to scare the lights out of everybody, including myself. But it ends at some point. It could be a month, it could be 5,000 years, it could be 5 million years, but at some point it ends. Remember, time over there is not like time over here. So even if Mashiach comes, it doesn't mean that the person, let's say Mashiach comes next year. It doesn't mean that a person that goes to Gainom tomorrow is only going to be in Gainom for one year. It doesn't mean that. There's no time over Meaning that Mashiach can come next year, but that person went to Gainom for 50,000 years. Why? Because there's no time there. So yeah, here it's a year. Over there can be 50,000 years. One of the places we learn in the Torah, one of the places we learn in the Torah that time is different over there, is this week's parasha. This week's parasha, parasha Tzlach. One of the Kadosh Baruch Hu says to Am Yisrael, he says, you said something against the land and said Lashon Ara about the land after going there for 40 years, for 40 days. For every one of your days, I'm going to count a year. Punishment, 40 year punishment. 40 days trip, one second actual sin, 40 year punishment. No one from that generation ended on that Eretz side. Here we already see that Akadosh Baruch Hu's time span Kadosh Baruch Hu's clock is very different than us. One second sin could be a uh, centuries of punishment. Point being, we have to do tshuva. Little by little, you'll do more. Little by little, you'll get better. And you'll see that this is the best thing you've ever done for yourself. Not just in the next one, but also in, the next, and in this one. In this one. So if a person goes to the first six, it ends at some point, but that's not necessarily good news. It just means it ends at some point. But if they go into the seventh place because of Mahdiya Rabbi or Botsim Sera Levatala or Chidul Shabbat, these three major crimes. There's a few others, by the way, as well. But those are the three most common. Then they have a permanent problem because they'll enter Geinom Hashem and they will not leave. And it's not going to be fun.